old bash here on Fox. A sellout crowd as you would expect a perfect day in Dallas. As the Auburn Tigers. A sign of unity. This is a solid football program. Out of the Southeastern Conference, they're terrific. The last time Nebraska took the field was the Big 12 championship game in Kansas City on December 4th. And it was a, it was a bitter defeat, and that bitter taste still lingers in their mouth. They want to wash it out today with the victory against Auburn. Both coaches and the players to a man who talked to us and said, I said, how you feeling, coach? He said, I'm cold. We haven't had a cold game all year long. We've got one today. Clark's kickoff sails out of the end zone, so Nebraska will take over. Lucky. Better than lucky. Thomas swings it outside and he's got some room. This is lucky. And lucky is better than that. Into Auburn territory. Back with him. Zach Taylor drops back in the shotgun. Shuttle pass to lucky. Good call, good play, good result. Down inside the 30 to about the 26. Very good call, Pat. Next to Zach Taylor in the shotgun. Good! Dane Todd, the fullback, is back alongside Zach Taylor, who's going to throw it. Touchdown. Nate Swift, the wide receiver, brings it in. Good throw from Zach Taylor, and this by and frees him up. Extra point by Jordan Congdon. Yes, they did. Brandon Cox is swarm under. Hit first by the cornerback on a blitz. Taken down by a character. Whatever they're doing. No, they don't. They've got things pretty old figured out. Lucky again. And again, good yardage. First down, Aaron Nebraska Nancy. across midfield. That, now we're, we're. He's the lone setback this time. Go! Out quick. Intercepted by Auburn's. Dede down the sideline. Dede could go all the way. Tripped up from behind. Karibi Dede. 53 yards on the return. The ricochet intercept. Fake is the Irons. The pass to Carl Stewart, the fullback. And this game is about to be tied. Well done. Pretty play. Really great play action fake. You won't miss many. And we have a tie, 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> wow, that's getting out of bed in the morning. That's a guy that wants a piece of the action. Go on, go on. Taylor was hit just as he let the ball for Auburn. Dan Tishner is the wow. punter. And the ball's loose and Auburn has it. There'll be a lot of momentum changes. Down to their own zone, Pat, 7-7. Unnecessary to make that kind of call. Kenny Irons back deep. Cox throws across the field. But, but not a touchdown. Close to the end zone, but not in. Well, that's the teammates on the sideline after that great catch and vicious hit. Stewart and Irons. Stewart. Into the end zone, second touchdown of the day for the fullback. Who 
is an accomplished violinist, by the way. The second time he's been. Nebraska took the opening kickoff and drove the length of the field. Looking like they own the cotton bowl. Passes out to him, and he's got some room. Cross into Auburn territory. Will Herring, the linebacker, God sets up in front of him. Big hole, and Jackson will tie this game for Auburn if the extra point is good for Nebraska. Big hole in the middle of the line, and Brandon Jackson put those calves to work. Yeah, he did. That quickness in the open field. That's all, guys. Tie game. 14-14 front this time for Nebraska. And they rush from the outside, a big blitz, and down he goes. Cox had no place to go. And Nebraska takes over in good shape. Brandon Jackson is the deep back. Go! Taylor going for a bunch. Incomplete, good coverage. Purify, purify the intended receiver. From the spread. The heat's on, and Auburn gets their first sack of the day. No, that was always the fundamental. Yeah, that coaches that when sort of works itself in, it's, doesn't it? It's kind of important ingredients. Big Welsh kickoff will be returned from the five by Davis and room to run. Still on his feet. Excellent return for Auburn. Corey Young made not a big guy. No. 205, 208. Cox outside near a first down yardage. Here's Irons, almost breaking loose. It's first down yardage for Kenny Irons. Irons, no place to go. He spins and breaks tackle and gets a yard. And the ball is loose, and Nebraska's saying, we got it. Let's see what the officials say. Yes, sir. The Huskers have it. Front for Auburn. Taylor drops the throw. Got some room, and he's going to take off with it. Close to a first down. Football family. Cox. Pass is caught across the 50 by Rodriguez. The six. Nebraska showing blitz, and they blitz it. Good. Wow. Courtney Taylor jumped over the top of the defender and came down with a football. That's a heck of a... Looks like he came down inside there. Yeah. Here's Irons. Down to just shy of the 15-yard line. Here he is at the top on this play. Third and 20. Nope, out of bounds, incomplete. Rodriguez intended. Go! Plenty of leg. And good as Auburn takes the lead. Auburn 17, Nebraska 14. Taylor, remarkable throw as he hits Nate Swift on the run. He was the best and the most talented. Second down. Lucky again. And Graham in the very near future. He talks and acts yes. like he's a coach material, doesn't he? He's a coach. Incomplete from Taylor. Then takes still the deep man behind Cox. Go on! Wide open. 
The Auburn receiver. I'll be on the phone. Ben Tate, the ball carrier. Tate. Rumbles. Past the 30. It's before we see it. Yeah. That pressure. That's Jay Moore. All right. Uh, Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell, yeah. Carlos Rogers, yeah. Good play by the order. Great anticipation. Brandon Jackson was taken down before the school. Third down coming from the spread. Incomplete through the hands of the intended receiver, Terrence Nunn. David Iron, strong family, Krista. Strong family ties, they never go to the bathroom. That's pretty good. <laughs> Courtney back with Zach Taylor. Out of the spread, he operates. Blitz coming, look out. Incomplete, good coverage and a good play by Curafi is the end. Brandon Cox changes formations around. Nebraska faked the blitz. Didn't have to. Barry Cryer came around the corner. Nebraska saying, we got the ball. And they do. What a break that is. Five minutes, 24 seconds left, Nebraska. Takes advantage of the Auburn turnover. Stewart. Time running out here. Shuttle pass. It worked earlier. It doesn't work this time. And that might have just taken him out of field goal range. That loss was big for a field goal. Out of bounds. And incomplete. Intended for Franz Hardy. Auburn leads by three, third and two. Nebraska showing blitz. Kenny Irons. Close to first down yardage. I don't know if he got it or not. Depends on the mark. Jay Moore made the stop. If he did, Auburn can grab that trophy, and he did. Yep. We have indisputable video evidence that the runner was down short of the 40 yard line by one foot. Fourth down, Auburn. Down by one foot. There. Stop. Stop. Here's Taylor. Going to throw it as far as he can. Eric Block came down with it, and that's the game. Auburn.